Hey, Mike Sargent. Are you there? I'm sorry, I had me by accident. Yes, Anthony Sloan. Hey, okay. It's modern technology. You know, I'm not with this stuff, man. I'm ancient. I'm ancient school, you know? <laughs> I'm not old school. I'm ancient school. I don't want to hear this Zoomy, conferency, or nothing like that. <laughs> All right. I'm, I, hashtag audio OG. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you, you took the time to talk to me. I, I want to specifically just talk about two films. Um, of course, one one is the uh, the Soul one, and the other one is Mar, Mar Rainey's. I, I sort of got to put them both in there. But let me ask you first. Can you just tell us what your impressions of Soul and what, what your little Mac and, you know, whatever you think about that first? Well, all right. There, there are two sides to it. Just in terms of a film, uh, I have thoughts about it then in terms of somebody in the business and, and, and what it what it is for African Americans, black people in this in, on, on the planet and, and mm. telling of our stories that's a whole other thing. Yeah, um, yeah. I have the same thing, but go ahead. Uh -huh. okay, all right. So on, I, in terms of entertainment, I think it's good. I, I like the idea that, you know, a movie for kids uh, goes this deep. It doesn't pander, you know, they're, they're complex concepts, you know, uh, and it tackles, you know, the whole idea, considering that, that we're, we, there are many different religions and thoughts about dying and death in the afterlife, you know, to handle this and to handle it the way they did, uh, I, I give them, a, my hats are off, my hat is off. Okay, I, I would say that. And so I enjoyed it. Um, it was filled with not stereotypes, but archetypes. And uh, I, I thought that th there were a lot of layers to it that, that I appreciated it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not Pixar's best work, but I thought it was very good. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I thought it was very good. I, I, it's interesting. You say archetypes. I say tropes. But let me, let me, I'm going I'm 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 to read something to you uh, that I wrote. The, the, I guess they interviewed the, the, what, the, 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 the I'm going to say the white director. There's a black director and a white director, right? The, I like the story behind that too, but yeah. Yeah, the white director, he's the one that, I actually like his work. Uh, Monsters, Inc., I love that. And, and Up, I really liked. Um, yeah. uh, anyway, so in, in the comment section, under under that interview, I wrote this. Okay, here it goes. Um, uh, da, 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 da. It says, "What can I? Re what can really be said? On one level, uh, in in one reality, I love, respect, and truly understand the process. Right? I enjoy the movie so much. Okay. Yet, in the reality of ADOS, that would be the North American descendants of chattel slavery struggle. This work is so. Uh, effing wrong. <laughs> then I say, damn the system of Anglo racist white supremacy. It is a, a, a I don't want to say, it, but a father uh, effort. Now, so that's that, that, that's my thing. In other words, I really liked the film. I, I liked it a lot, right? Uh, but I didn't recognize all these things, the whole, the whole thing about, the, you know, the, uh, let's do it this way. Uh, the 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 biggest thing is the the classic uh, black noble black man, you know, uh, noble black man does something for for, for white people saves the thing. The last time I, the the most recent time I saw this is basically in Tenet. You know, here we got the noble black man saves saved the world. You know, didn't get all the information, but he he saves the world. So that's that, that that's it in a nutshell. But we can go deeper. What do you think about what I just said? Well, well, no, I'm I'm gonna ask you some questions. Now, what, what is your issue with the noble black man? And, I, and let, me, let me just frame this. You know, archetypes are, is part of storytelling. You sure. know, I mean, the reason superhero movies are so popular is because, you know, every it's today's Greek heroes, okay? So the heroes are what we project ourselves onto. So my question to you is, you know, you could call it a trope, and they're much, much, much worse tropes, in my opinion, mm -hmm. than the noble black man. Mm -hmm. I mean... Is it the idea, what is the idea, what is it that you dislike about how the noble black man is, is you know, that trope? What is it you, you I want to know your thoughts on the noble black man. Uh, it's, 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 they're in a conundrum. It's, it's, it's a thing where I guess uh, the, the biggest thing, well, let me put it this way. Um, and don't worry, don't, I, I know storytelling, whatever have you, but let me go to Prometheus. You know, here we go. The guy says, oh, 
let me not. I'm I'm gonna save the world by by blowing up by blowing up the ship and, let, and everybody joins them. Yeah, let's go. And and it's a good one. I mean, it's a good it's a good one. I'm not arguing that it's a good one. It's just that it's there. The black guy's got to die. The black guy's got to give himself up for the white person. The white the black guy's got to save going to save the planet, which I guess is better than the black guy being a drug addict or something like that. But. I mean that's just the way I, that's just the way I feel, you know. Uh, there's some other stuff in there, but 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 that that's it. I mean I don't I don't want to go too deep in this thing, you know. It's the whole well, Sydney, Sydney no, Port I mean, I'm, I'm curious because uh, you know I definitely have uh, let's just say different archetypes or tropes or, or, or uh, you know I wouldn't say archetype, but I'd say stereotypes that I hate uh, uh, for black men in film. But uh, I, I, that's why I was curious what your your take on the whole noble black. Oh, man. I see what you're saying. Let, let, let me let me let me go back. Let me just say this. Um, that's why I don't say stereotype. Okay, oh, or, okay. I don't say stereotype. Stereotype is really negative. But the noble black man, you know, that's that's a thing. I, it's just a thing, right? It's not a. It's not. I don't want to say it's negative. Part. I'm just saying it's, I've seen it so many times. If they if they're not if you're not being something negative. If you want to say a stereotype, then you're being something super positive, which is all right too. But that's what it is, right? Uh, so let, let's can we move off that for just a second? Well, yeah, 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 well, no, I mean Sydney put made a career out of it. So, that, that's know. right. That, that's <laughs> I, that's the first thing I thought was you know the the, the Tony Curtis Sydney Porche thing. I understand that, and, and and they had to do it. You know, it's an interesting thing. Let, let me go to something else and show you what show you what I mean. Sure. I just I distinctly felt. And here's what I felt, and, and, and I just read a little bit about this, where the, the black guy that helped him, he was so good in the writing that they just gave him a, 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 a director credit, you know? Well, here, here's the deal. Yes, that's what I was going to tell you. Now, Kemp Powers, now, Kemp Powers is an interesting uh, person now. Uh, a, they brought him in for a couple of weeks because this was not originally conceived as a black story with a black main character. Mm -hmm. But once they decided to put it in the jazz world and they wanted to make it a black character, now keep in mind, this is after 20 plus years of not having, I mean, you know, they did yeah, do, uh, you know, <laughs> they, they did the, the Mexican thing a couple of years ago. But, so, you know, Coco, they had Cause yeah. is the main character, they had Plains is the main character, but they haven't had a, a, a person of color. So, yeah. uh, this is the second one. The first one for African American. They felt they wanted to, you know, have it, you know, properly blackified. So mm -hmm. they brought in Kemp Powers for a short term. And he was so good yeah. that they extended his contract, gave him a co-director credit. Yeah. And clearly, you can see how much of an understanding of our culture is in there. And that, you know, whatever the initial conception, which is what I'm picking up on the whole noble black man, you know, uh, almost all the movies that Denis Portier was in and, and, and that he, he were not written by black folks, you know, yeah. uh, very few. Uh, but that noble black man is also sometimes, in my opinion, you know, if, you, if we were criticizing it, the, the overcompensation kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, Kemp Powers is that someone who, you know, he also has a film out right now that is based on a play, because you want to talk about Ma Rainey, and that's a mm -hmm. film called uh, One Night in Miami. And oh, I heard about that. Play. I heard about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now he's the same writer of that. He wrote mm -hmm. that play that won all those awards about four or five years ago, mm -hmm. about that fateful night. Mm -hmm. And so, clearly, you know, I think the best things about the film, maybe not the best things, I shouldn't say that, because, but I think some of the best or the most true things about black culture in there and, and understanding of it come from his involvement, and, and I mm. think they acknowledge that. That's, that's kind of how I see it. Well, it's interesting because, you know, I clearly felt, I didn't know any of this, but I clearly felt that the, 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 the what's the, what's the main director's name? Um, Pete Doctor. Yeah, Pete. I'm just going Pete, right? Pete, I clearly felt it's almost like Pete was in the driver's seat, and then he had a he had like his Tonto come and join him. Uh, but the Tonto spiced it up so good, you say, "Hey, uh, uh, yeah." You know, yeah. that's what it, that's what it felt like to me. Okay, but let me go and say something else. Let me say because you know, films about relationships more than plays, more than anything. Film, film, the film world is about relationships. You know, you know your your, your ads, your your unit production, all the whole the the art department. Everything's about about relationships. You hire people, let you know whatever have you. This guy, I think, is so powerful that here's what I think she will will happen. Right, for instance, that barbershop that barbershop scene is so good. 
It is so good that my thing is if if they did a sequel. Wait, wait, wait hold on now. I, you you know what? Okay, you, I just need you to say that again because I recorded you. I'm going to record you right now what you're saying because <laughs> uh, you know uh, Donnell Rawlings is a friend and he plays the barbershop guy and and he, we're, we're, he's going to be on my show this week. So mm. that. Finish what you're saying about the barbershop scene. Look, the barbershop scene was so good. I, it, it, it's funny because it, it feels like it's, it's in there. It's in the films. Clearly, it's not, it's, uh, but it's so it, it, it's so beyond. It's like it's like some sort of you know you know you have you have a dime. You have facets. Well, this yeah. is when you're looking at that diamond. That facet is so brilliant that even though you know it's uh, the whole thing is part of a diamond, but it is so good. I mean, in fact, it explores me to say this. Here's what I would want. I would want a sequel. Since he goes back down, and that to be an all blacks, the, the whole black, the whole black sequel to that. That's all. I, that's that's. It is so I, good. I you one better. I want to see that barbershop as a cartoon. Uh, yes. Now that, you know, uh, I mean, you do what till, do what Bill Cosby was doing, mm -hmm. showing the neighborhood yes. uh, back in the day in the seventies, and how he 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 made uh, uh, the black people relatable. Mm -hmm. I would love to see that. So I'm with you. Not only that, but it could. You know how it could work as a cartoon or as a continuation is that you could have almost like a. I don't want to say a weekly thing. I know they do weekly thing, but almost like a monthly thing where you have star, guest stars coming through. But yeah. it would be, be such a point yeah. where where people would want to come through so much that if you did a monthly yeah. thing, everybody wants to be on the. That's program. right. And so you have your pick. You have your say. No, 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 no. And then you have enough time because if you do a weekly thing, I think it's too much pressure. You know what I'm saying? But if you do a monthly thing, I would even say a bi-weekly, or if you had a, I don't know. Somehow I think we best as, 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 a, as a monthly thing, but that's, but, but you know, as a special, special, special. Let me go back, let me let me say this. So 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 let's leave that for a second. What was I gonna say? Um, okay, so, so, so everything's fine there. But the other thing is that this is, a, it's clearly that uh, they don't, uh, it's, it's, it's like the, the 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 world that they're in, rather the world that they're trying to depict. They need a, a true black thing, but we have these things. That Hollywood is sticking their, their their little things in there. Like for me, this whole there was so, so a lot of gender fluid things, switching things, switching animal, the thing, the thing, the thing, and it's like I'm going like, whoa, this is kind of interesting. I can see where the story's going, but black people ain't gonna like that. Here we go, we're gonna play it. We're gonna be a cat again. We're gonna be a, an animal again. But no, it's not really. It's weird. They give themselves some outs and some ends you know it's 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 interesting instead of he the, the man has a epiphany he gives up his he gives up his 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 seat if you will uh to go and hunt the hunt the hunt the white girl down you know um so th that's to me super interesting what do you think about that no i i agree with you 100 percent. I, I think you know i and again i'll, I'll add to that to say that what i like best about the idea of this film is that you know, it's children. Children will see this. Children from all across the world will see uh, uh, an aspect of, of black life, black culture, human culture, human beings, uh, and, and what it is to be, you know. And so to me, anything that sparks that uh, continued storytelling, you know, uh, for me, as a filmmaker, as a film critic, the thing that hurts and has hurt most is the idea for so long that they think, you know, basically saying black stories don't matter. You know, black people don't travel. You know, there's no international. I mean, that changed with Black mm -hmm. Panther. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, the, the the idea that all these black films and films about, even whether it's cartoon, real life, documentary, One Night at Miami, Ma Rainey, you know, the Ma Rainey, One Night at, those are all things about, re, those are real people, you know? So these stories need to be uh, seen by the world, in my opinion. So. Uh, well, one more thing before I, I, I sort of try to uh, switch it to Ma Rainey. Interestingly enough, uh, you know, the, the Asian girl, I'm going to call her Asian girl, with the trombone, I'm going like, oh, they stay, they Gave the Asians some props in there, you know. Every time we have to, you know, it just that, that to me is sort of interesting, you know. I won't say nothing on that, but that was sort of interesting. Well, they want the song to play around the world, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, that's what I'm saying. I know, I know the marketing. That's I know, I knew, I knew exactly why that happened. I just knew why that happened. But that uh, again, that was a great scene with the classroom. Everybody oh, saw yeah. it, but the music makes the music makes them. Dis disciplines them, which is another statement. You know, did they put these kids in the class in the classroom do for academic, whatever they put them for discipline, you know, to get them out of your hair. But then the the the, the culture, the, the music raises them up so good. 
that yeah. they have to listen. That, that to me is like amazing too. But here's the here's the other trick. Interesting, the movie is called Soul. Now, naturally, we think Soul, and then you see a black person, oh, you dick talking about that. Yeah, the, exactly. But it's not the movie, and, and, and a, lot of, a lot of other people will think about, you know, the whole other thing. Oh, by the way, are those spirits that look like a, a, a Picasso thing? I'm sorry, man, but that Picasso went into that period. He, he was influenced by, by, by black culture with that whole Picasso period. That, to me, was super sure. interesting, too. Um, but here's the thing. I don't think people understand. It is not... Uh, Joe's film. It is 22's film. The, the, as far as we're going to do drama church, this thing, the film, the, the person that's changed most, it happens to 22. It doesn't really happen to Joe. Joe goes through a thing, but it's not really, he's sort of, I don't want to say flat, but she's the one that, she, you know, she, uh, she's whatever, it happens to her. She's the one that's completely changed, which is the same thing with, with Ma Rainey's Black uh, Bottom. Everybody want to say it's Ma Rainey's film. No, it's, it's, it, it's Levy's film. You know what I mean? Levy is the one that 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 goes through the change that that has that has the change. Uh, so talk to me about that. Well, it's a, it's, a, it's just interesting because there, there and 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 what, it could be argued both ways because what you're saying is you feel there's a stronger arc to her character or yes. you know its character. Uh, and in many ways, yes, but in many ways they kind of come to the same revelation. He comes to appreciate his life, even though it was not what he imagined it to be. He appreciated what his life was, which is kind of a strong message, you know. Uh, but she also had to come to you know to reconcile with her own fate. Okay, mm -hmm. and so I agree because she was so strong and aggressively. I, I also yeah. will say honestly, and this is no, you know, I'm not downing Jamie Foxx, but I think her performance was so strong as that character mm -hmm. that you you you, you 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 key into her story. I didn't think about that. that. Mm, mm, I didn't think about that. You're right. I think you're correct there. Even though this is one of the best things Jamie has ever done. I'm telling right. you. I, and this is his first time doing it. So, you know, uh, you know, this is something she's done a bunch of times. Oh, so the voice acting, as you know, yeah. the radio drama, audio drama, yeah. essentially, is with, with the core of uh, a film. They don't start drawing until they got the voice. Yeah. You know, being able to... to do everything with your voice, mm. uh, you know. And again, but again, that, that that's just my take on it. If that makes any sense to you. Yeah, yeah. Now, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. We can we, we can go back and forth if you want. But here's the now talking about the thing. I don't people. The, it's Levy's film. He's the one who goes through changes, right? And, and even the title, Ma Rainey. Oh, I'm sorry. You 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 were talking about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You were you were talking. You jumped into Ma Rainey. I'm sorry. So yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, I'm, uh, did I did I mess up your synapse there? You know, no, you, yeah, I skipped like uh, you said Levy, and it didn't even click that you weren't. Oh, uh, <laughs> you said twenty two, and then flipped, skipped to Levy, and I, I meant, I'm sorry. Here's the thing, man. It's called yeah. Ma. It's called Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Yeah, it is not about Ma Rainey. Not this at all. this is no, about no, the black. Oh, no, but it is Levy's story. Yeah, yeah, but it's but also it's about the black bottom. That's it's the thing is is black bottom, and that's what is tripping. But because Viola Davis gives her performance, and, and of course Chadwick Boseman gives, but it's also an ensemble piece. Absolutely. And not only that, it now hold on to this one. It's a male piece. Ma, mm -hmm. remember if you want to consider Ma Rainey bisexual, whatever it is, the things that she has to do is more of a male. I want to say male energy in that thing. So this whole piece is a is a, is an ensemble male piece. That's what it is, you know, um, and, and I think that people miss that they want to. I want people say I want to know more about Ma Rainey. I want to know about more about her, you know, bisexual, her lesbianism, whatever they want to know about. You know what I mean? And that's not the point of it, because you have all these people that want the film to be something else. You know, that's a big thing with films, anyway. Well, that's interesting. I mean, my, you want my take on that? Yeah. Well, my take on that, I think, I think that that's, that's a credit to uh, her performance, you know, that, that she, you know, I think she was fantastic in the role. I thought, I thought she was like, like a supervillain. You didn't know what was going to happen every time she came on screen. You didn't know if somebody was going to get a beat down. You didn't know if she was going to get arrested. You, 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 the tension every time she came on screen. But then yeah. when she finally reveals why she's such a bitch. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're like, Ma, be every bitch you gotta be. Mm. You with her. And and that says a lot about her performance and the character and the, you know, clearly the writing. So I feel like 
she was Mari, like you said, it, it, it is. It, it's uh, it, if you really think about it, and I never really, you know, articulated it that way, but I think you said it that it is the black bottom. The band is really what it's about. It isn't Ma, Ma Rainey is why they are the came. She, she she may be the the the, the rod, but it's it's all of them orbiting around her. That is what the play is about. And the bottom, the bottom. We're talking about the southern. Did they at the bottom of the southern? I love. Yeah. Oh, by, by the way, I love that opening scene. The opening scene was fantastic because first you thought it was like a slave movie. You hear the, you just hear the running through the woods. You hear the dogs. You see the fire, and all of a sudden they open up into to what you know to to the tent thing and the whole tent. And the whole tent thing to me is like it's interesting because remember I live in South Africa and there's there is no uh, there is no movie there something like that. So the, the only entertainment you have is it, what I call. The, the saints and the sinners. The saints would be the church people. The sinners would be the people that go to Shabins or, you know, uh, uh, juke joints, if you will. And that's the only culture you have in those, in those isolated areas. So that's kind of interesting. But when you go north, again, it's still the bottom. You know, they're still at the bottom, you know. And, 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 and uh, oh, oh, my gosh. One of the best scenes. No, but I, I love this scene so much. When she first introduces, she's coming down the steps. Then she has the woman on with the young woman on one side and a young boy on the other side. That's the duality right there. And she and she is the mob. She protects them both. She's the mob. And what she what's she protecting them from? She's protecting them from the boule and the boule wannabes. Thank you. Just just stick a fork with me. I was done right there. I said, Oh, messages, messages, messages. You know, I love that. You know. Oh man, and you know another thing where you saw so about a great actress. I'm gonna get off this in a second, but when she was coming with that, with that cop, right? I said I did the whole I did a whole thing on this, but you know she comes in, and you you know how you know how we in junior high school and the girls are gonna fight. You know they take off their earrings. You know they you know, they greased up with their little Vaseline or whatever it is. Well, when she took her cap off, <laughs> I said, "Oh, it's on." <laughs> I said, "It's on, it's on, it's on." <laughs> I would laugh so much. Scene. But you know, the other, the other, to me, what also supercharged that scene was that it's a white cop and a black woman, and still, a hundred years later, we still know how that scene can end. Yeah, and now you not remember the white cop had the whole white crowd there; they were ready to pounce. Yes. yes. So the, for, for her to have that much co courage to do that, unbelievable. That's right. That's right. Because again, today it still resonates. You, today, a black woman would, would it would be dangerous for her to do that. Mm, yeah. Right and, now, right now, you go down south. Right now, that could be happening. We've seen it. Yeah, but here's the here's the other interesting thing. Remember when she says sends out a um, uh, 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 slow drag and then Sylvester to get the so to get the Coca Colas. Remember they cut the scene. So the question is, did those, and again you had the white mob. The question is, did those guys keep on going in and, and, and confront them to get the soda, or did they go out and go someplace else to get the soda from someplace else? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I, I think they, the, the point was they got the soda because she asked for it. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I'm saying. I understand that. No, no. When the guys went into the shop, right, the way those guys are looking at you know it's a racist situation. Did, oh, yeah. they, did they actually buy the sodas from that shop? That's true. I don't know. Or, yeah, or yeah. did or did they go to another shop? Don't give me no, no, no. I'm I'm putting this. I'm. I'm I, I remember. I, I remember seeing. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm, what you mean. I'm putting that in myself. But here's the thing. The, here's the question: Is it a film? Now follow me on this, okay? Because one of the, my one of my favorite films is uh, Lars Van Tier uh, Mandalay, right? Um, I know you you know what I'm talking about. You know the whole dogma thing with the. the, the you know, put, putting the chalk marks on on the on the sound stage, and well, so, no, so 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 so. Yeah, explain it for those who don't know. You can give the the, law, the rules of dogma. Okay, basically, you have this chalk outline. Basically, what they're using they're using lighting, great acting, and sound effects. That's all it is. There's no there's no way. What do you call scenic design? Nah, you know. Basically, it's lighting design, script, of course, acting. And more, and, and for me, sound effects because I'm just a sound effects guy. So this film, um, here's here's the interesting thing. When uh, the like I said, the opening scene is great. When they have those tableaus, those those those, those tableaus that, that that move. That I can even say the 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 hotel thing is a tableau. But you know, when they go up town, they show the people uh, uh, up north, and they have people, and they show the rest, whatever have you. Yep. Now people people keep on saying this was a play, a film play, and with those little touches. But here's the thing: if they had the money, all those speeches, like when 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 they have uh, 
Well, we we learn about levies uh, being being cut when you uh, the the woman. Uh, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Toledo's woman leaving him, I guess it is, or whoever it is. The the thing with the preacher at the train station. All that stuff would have been dramatized, and that would have been in the movie, and that then would make it would make it more of a movie. But they, I'm sure they didn't have the money to do that. Well, you know, also it's 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 money, and I mean, I, again, that's expanding from the play, and and you know, uh, the definition makes it longer. You know, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of stories. I will say this: we're in a different age now, yeah. and and the age we're in, you know, we've gotten used to long form storytelling. You know, it's it's not episodic series like it used to be, and so long form storytelling, you know, you have time to flesh shit out. You, if this was a, if my Rings was a mini series, you know, wow. we could we could delve it that hole would be we get his whole childhood so now when we sit back and watch some of that stuff we we get all of it we only got a glimpse Okay, you 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 went further than I would go. I would say I would just illuminate those things, but I would make it. Here we go. I know this is not going to happen. I just say director's cut. You you appreciate that? Now you want to see some stuff, and then and then that would also do some Ma Rain Ma back thing. But you, I think you're right. I think the series, a limited series, would be much better because then you can see then people would have every they can have everything. You know, well, you get the, all the context because yeah. to me, part of what makes Ma Rainey so powerful as a piece and and a lot of you know uh, August Wilson's work is the context. You know, Black mm -hmm. Life in America, like what we have to deal with, yep. what we had to who we had to be, and what we have to deal with, and that's probably to me the most powerful that that's what makes this, this you can watch this piece 100 years from now it's super powerful Oh uh, man, I can watch it oh time and time again, as well as I can watch Soul. I really enjoy Soul. I'm sorry with people, you know. And in fact, this oh, that's what I wanted to say. Back to Soul. This whole thing about it's a children's movie, children, 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 children. Oh please, you know. Uh, let me tell you, a ten year old today. <laughs> it's not like the ten year old that the filmmakers are thinking about. <laughs> so the philosophical things or whatever have you think is over there and so what they don't you know of course an, of course a six year old is going to say oh they you know, just enjoy the characters or whatever have you but don't tell me a child what do you mean by child that's the whole other thing so anyway let, 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 um, I don't want to hold you because I know you're a busy man in fact let, let, I'm going to go back yeah let me just say um, I wanted to say one more thing I don't know what it was um, no no I want uh, I just wanted to say that I, I think at this time when both these films coming out the way it is, I, I, I think it's extraordinary because I'm looking. OK, l let me skip to something else. When, when when Dave and I was doing the, 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 the you know, we, we do we did Oyadas, the Risha plays. I, I had this fantasy that if I was to to a film. Uh, to film, uh, say, oh yeah, a play like that, I would film it in Cuba, right? And what I would do, you know how you have a film where you, and you have to set things up and so you have the stand-ins or whatever have you? And I would have three crew crews. I'm talking because it's, I'm not going far afield. Don't worry about this. I would have three crews, right? And they're, they're all in the Yoruba culture or, or the Condomblay culture. The first crew, uh, well, one crew would be the, the, the uh, uh, Sp Spanish language, if you will, uh, the next, another crew would be the Portuguese, and then of course you have the the American or the English speaking crew, and 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 each one, each, the setup would be the same, but the different crews would would act to get this whatever whatever whatever, and so basically you have three different films coming out. I know it sounds complicated, but to me, I think because we have such a huge world, and and how how do you change this? How do you address all these audiences? Uh, you know, this is kind of kind of interesting. I think there are other ways, and the the imagination or the way we can do these uh, these things, uh, it's going to change. Uh, nobody's know nobody understands what I've just said, but it's going to change. People got to evolve, and the only way it's going to change is that we we have to uh, we have to get away from uh, the white dominance. Or I wouldn't say the white dominance. That that um, mentality. That that slow mentality that that brought us to this part of the of film them now now all of a sudden they're letting they're letting black people in they're saying that oh there's other possibilities oh blah 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 blah, blah. other cultures coming oh there's other possibilities but we have to get away not get away from we have to evolve the model that that was started you know you know a uh, hundred years ago we have to evolve that model that's what I that's that's my my statement you know well. I I would tend to agree with you, but I would add this, I have to say that uh, I, I think you're being nice by saying, oh, they, they realize there's other possibilities. Uh, I say, no, they realize there's money. I think Netflix uh, showed 
a lot of these uh, major studios that the underserved want to be served. Okay, that's why all of a sudden, you know, you're seeing all these series about, um, you know, people of color and, and, and black shows and, and black movies. Netflix has tons. You know how many, there's like six black Christmas films came out this year. All of this is happening, not only because of, you know, George Floyd just happened this year, but because there's money being made. Black Panther Ooh. opened a door. It, it, that's like the largest example. But every time a, a, a black story film or television is successful it just opens the door for another one there's so much stuff in development you you you're at the tip we're at the tip of the iceberg right now uh i could say there's so much coming in every genre but you know every something genre. you know something, what i what i noticed uh when i first came last year because yeah, i went to a fish place and they were showing the, the videos whatever have you or they're showing netflix and i realized there's a lot of stuff. I know some South. There's a lot of South African series that came up. That's doing stuff. Niger, yeah. Of course, Nigerians have the the, the you know the, the second largest whatever you know film you know. Uh, uh, they have the, the first uh, largest. Go ahead. Oh, they they they, they beat out Nollywood now. Oh, oh two three years ago. Yeah, terms of quality is another story. But yeah, 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 yeah. Content. Yeah. the largest producer of content on the planet. Which is kind of interesting because now you you the, the, if you go that. Um, well, what will happen is now uh, a lot of, I guess, it's, in fact, you talk about skills. I think a lot of people that, that were, were trained in Hollywood didn't get their shot. They can go to other markets now and work it, you know? Uh, you hit it on the head. That is exactly what's been happening. That is exactly what has been happening. Uh, people who, who are, are, I have a number of friends and colleagues who have gone or are working on projects who have gone there, who have been asked to come there to work on projects. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. That is exactly what's happening. Oh, okay. After you are, you are correct. I'll be like Johnny Carson. <laughs> you are correct, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one, one more tiny thing. It's a question I have to ask you. You, you, you know, we, we, um, in the, I think this was in the 80s. I saw in the 80s, definitely in the, but into the, the 80s. The, I heard this. The, no, I saw this happening. In New York, Disney, they sort of snapped up a lot of up and coming black writers and, yeah. and, 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 and to, I guess to do the writing. But now it's sort of, I don't know what happened to those writers, you know, uh, the, you know, the, the well, diaries. Yeah, that was the program. I remember. That's a good question. Uh, but 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 I guess this is the the second generation. You know, whatever have you. But my problem is a lot of these writers that are coming that's coming in. How many? Let me put this. How many people are theater trained or writer theater trained uh, on um, uh, writing no, no, novel trained or whatever you want to call it play, playwrights or whatever have you? It's really on this because a lot of times people are just going straight to they think they can be screenwriters. They go straight to that or whatever it is. So are we missing something with that? So there's two questions in there. You know what happened? Is that true that they snapped up all these black writers and whatever? And, and no, no, that's not true. I mean, right now that that's happening. Right now, it did not happen before. Like mm -hmm. this, it's happening now. You know, they're they're looking actively looking for people and projects and things. Things have changed quite a bit since you know the days they used to talk about it. Because this is not the first time that black films were making money. If you remember, it happened in the '90s. All of a sudden, you know, we got lots of hood films. We got lots of you know silly comedies. They're basically remakes of of, of Boys in the Hood and and House Party. But mm. then that expanded. You know, it's and it's and it's continued to expand. So we have. Right now, it, there has never been a better time mm. in Hollywood and, and for black film and black television. You know, I don't know if you know Ava DuVernay has just done a whole mm. new thing to diversify the crews with uh, one of the major studios. So, so it is things are absolutely changing now. Yeah. It's just happening now, and it's a confluence of things that it has that has brought this about. But it, it, in my opinion, it is clearly a good thing. Mm. So, but it, it unfortunately. It, a lot of those, what I know exactly what you're talking about, those programs did, you know, a few people, a few folks came out of there, a few, their handful, mm -hmm. went into TV and stuff, but, mm -hmm. you know, the, the a lot of the movers and shakers, the people coming up, people who had to do it their own way, you know, yeah. the, the Deion Taylors and, the, and, you know, there are a lot of them right now, so this is, this is, this is that time. But that's the question. How do you develop it? See, as you know, I do audio drama, but 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 I have a way now. I've workshopped. I've I've done this form to such a point where I, in South Africa, basically what I do, I use audio drama as community development. But the techniques that I use, I can find writers. 
I can find I can write I can find scenarios the way that I I do it you know what I mean it's it's really really interesting I'm not a money person I'm not looking for no fame no fortune I'm not looking to feed nobody but you know it's uh, it's amazing the uh, uh, just different art forms how how you can workshop something through uh, you know maybe I'll have, you know maybe at some particular point uh, uh, somebody will come down and see see what I do but I don't write no papers no more I just I just say let's do it and people ma'am you have you have I can discover script writers actor you know every the whole crew i can discover just in one workshop you give me a four-day workshop you give me a three-week workshop you give me you know whatever workshop i can give you a bunch of writers i can give you a bunch of scenarios that you never even thought of you know but those are those are the kind of people I, those are the kind of people not me but those are the kind of people that's going to come and really revitalize this, this whole thing especially since this is worldwide now that's all i i can say so that's all i have to I've, that's, that's all i have to say <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I again, I, I agree with you, and I will say that to that that audio drama, mm. dude, it is exploding right now, and it's about to get even bigger. Mm. It is, it's huge. Podcast audio drama. There's so much. This you'd be surprised what's out there. Full cast, well known actors doing audio drama, and yeah. you're like, what the hell? Yeah. You know, Oscar winners. Mm. Okay, so it is happening. It yeah. is. It is, and there are a number of projects like it. There, it, it's it's crazy, and part of it was fueled by. Uh, I mean, it was already happening, but this pandemic has even added to this whole sure. thing of people doing audio dramas and and and, and doing uh, even you know reading screenplay readings via Zoom mm -hmm. and then just yeah. the audio of it. It's, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to do this Henry Dumas piece. Uh, ho hopefully the uh, North Carolina thing happens next August. I really need to get this Henry Dumas piece of work. But, but that's me. Wait a second. Now, I, I had trouble trying to get to you because you working like a you working like a self uh, a self mastered slave, man. What the heck's going on in your life that you you, you so busy that you can't talk to people? But tell well, me. I don't want to get into it, but it was it was a project from hell. That's all I'll say. It was, oh, it was, oh, it was, that's it was something negative. Special that 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 you know. There are a lot of things that that didn't go the way they should, and and it ended up being like almost two days late, and and I was literally working around the clock, oh. almost. Uh, like literally, I was up for like three days straight. It was kind of crazy. Okay, let, let, let's let's not do this too negative. What 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 is on your plate? What what Mike Sergeant, my man. I'm starting to be Denzel with you with that, Mike Sergeant, my man. man. What, what's what's what what's happening here? Come on, Mister Create. Come on, you are you a multifaceted whatever 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 all those whatever they say, man. What's what's going on? Tell me something positive. Uh, well, I got a couple things. I got a couple irons in the fire. I have uh, a, a film. I'm, I'm I'm tapped to direct, and then we just uh, the writer just finished the third draft of that. So that's something that that's coming. I've got uh, uh, you know I've just launched a podcast this year with uh, Jack Rico, and that's doing what we did have an article about us in Forbes. It's a podcast called Brown and Black. The whole idea: he's Latino, I'm black, and mm -hmm. you know how we need to unify and and, and find all the common uh, things that we have, not only in our cultures, but just that we need to unify against, let's just say, not say a common enemy, but let's mm. just say we have many similar battles, that, so we should not be ever against each other. So, oh, yeah. uh, so that that's part of the theme of that show. And we've had a lot of great people on. Uh, and I also have, uh, you know, I have, a, I have a script I'm working on, and I have a, a documentary that, um, you know, if all goes well, I'm supposed to have the financing for. I've got, uh, I've got some, I've got it, you know, it's looking like it's going to be a good year, so I have a lot of creative projects in the works, yeah. so I have a few things, I, I will, I will absolutely keep you abreast. You yeah, know? man, just, just email me, in fact, let me ask you this, I never saw your first film, man, the, who was in well, it? Really? All right, I'll send you a link, I'll send you a link, I'll send you Yeah, please do. Link the rough cut of my, my documentary, too, if you want to see it, so I'm sure. Uh, I, whatever, you, whatever, you look, uh, yeah, I, I accept everything yeah, creativity whatever. I'm not gonna rip no, I don't rip nobody off as you know my YouTube does, my YouTube channel is not monetized that's why my algorithm I don't get a lot of people listening to it because I do this stuff for documentary purposes only which is why I talk to you I need to talk to somebody who knows so every once in a while I, you know I don't know every two months whatever I try to get you on a horn only because I, I I think that you just you just you just in this other world you know I'm happy to have access to talk to somebody in the other world somebody in my level you know we we you know we, we don't usually hang out with you hoity toy. I just put my sunglasses on my, my face I put on my famous sun my, my make me look famous sunglasses right now uh, just because you know I'm, I'm hanging out with, with with the famous I'm not saying the rich but the, I'm uh, hanging out with the famous no no fame here but uh, <laughs> you know, I mean I do a lot of other stuff too like just you know bread and butter I do websites and I, I do some social 
social media, they're just podcasts for people. So I have a lot of that kind of stuff going on too. So. Okay, man, you go well. Please stay healthy, man. Do the supplements thing. You know, just just to do a lot of supplements. The latest thing is black elderberry. You know, uh, and everybody's doing the sea moss. You know, a bunch of other stuff. You know, of course the zinc. Are you doing sea moss? Um, I, I, you know, look. Let me tell you something, man. My. I haven't taken a flu shot since 1970. I don't get sick. First of all, my my, my metabolism is too high. If a germ comes into my body and they can survive, hey, I'm and plus you know I'm old enough. I, I'm ready. I'm going like yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm a walking experiment. You know what I mean? I've always ate healthy. I'm doing a little bit more exercise now because the people, my wife and 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 and, and my sister been cracking on my weight lately. You know, even for she's in South Africa, I'm stuck here, and even she's cracking on my weight from looking at the thing. And I got to oh, be cracking on your weight for five thousand miles away. Yeah, and 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 my sister, you know, I got to go see her. She did, you know, I went from a size thirty four to a size thirty six pants. You know, and and oh she. She, she give me no grief. So now I'm on a whole thing, you know, one meal a day, you know, the whole thing, you know what I mean? But I eat healthy, you know, a lot of vegetables, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm, I'm cool. Do your exercise. At least everybody needs to walk at least an hour a day, please. You know, just, 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 just be safe. That's all I got to say, man. Uh, listen, I, I am very close to being on your page. So, mm -hmm. cause I, I definitely understand. And I, uh, I, I am, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not that much younger than you. No, that, that, that's right. I forgot. I'm your elder. I'm sorry, I messed up with that. <laughs> You're my elder. You know, that much my elder. <laughs> yeah, but 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 you have more worldly accomplishments. I, I I'm you know I I I'm my accomplishments lie with the downtrodden. You know, I, you know as you say, I'm down. Downtrodden. I, I'm down with the downtrodden. You know, when the downtrodden yeah. raised, then I'll be raised. Other than that, I stay. Who said to say hello to you? Because he still does the show with me occasionally, Joe Missouri. Of course, man, Joe, my man, Joe gave me. I never told you this. Um, now we gossip him. This is so. You know, when we did, we did a thing called um, uh, uh, uh which one was not the long, yeah, the long dream. We did the long dream, and there was a scene where you know Bernard did this this uh uh, uh singing preacher. You know, singing black preacher, and so the whole the whole cast was there doing a the congregation thing. And at the end, you hear because Joe had brought you know Fritz Fritz to it, you know as, as a binaural mic with us. And at the end, you can hear Joe, Joe say "Amen," and it's such a white "Amen." It's so I laugh, I love it. I would say I love it. Everybody, we talk about this all. We just love it. I love Joe, man. To, to, hey, give Joe my best. Have that, please. Can you send that to me? I, I don't. That. I don't have. A, I don't have a. Vi I don't have. A, I don't know where this. This stuff might be up in. Look, I. I can't send it to you. I. I, I don't. Fine, fine, I, fine. I, I, but no, no. If I find it, I will try it because there's a lot of stuff. You know, uh, Michael does Crave Unity might might have a copy of it. I probably have a copy, but it's uh, dug in someplace at my sister's house in some sort of attic that I ain't got. Was this, was this, was this, this aired on, on BAI? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was this was a, a the audio drama. It was like a three. What year? Uh, we did that probably in probably in the Pacifica archives. I could probably look it up. There. I don't know. I don't know if they they got this. Uh, this is. I the, did not know that James Scott was in the Pacifica archives, but it is. Really, I have to check this out. But you know, this was like 1990. I have been 1990, 19 because 91 we did the Outsider, and this was done before the Outsider. So this was happened in 1990. This is 1990, I believe. You know, okay. you know, because we st we started. Now, wait, now Joe might have a copy of it, but I, I really would love to hear that. That's really funny. Yes, yes, Joe. You know, he knows a long dream. That was a re interesting place because we did now. Every time I've done an audio drama, a big one, because you know I don't know to do no rehearsals, but stuff has happened because because remember they had that the, the Happy Land Fire in in, in in the Bronx. Oh yeah. Well, it's that around about the same time because in the in the piece there's a fire. That's why this whole preacher thing happened. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, I had a lot of weird stuff like that happen. Every audio drama I've ever done, this the, 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 the drama around the audio drama, even when I was doing workshops, man, the, in South Africa, the drama around the drama is always super interesting. <laughs> hey, that's funny. The drama, that's a good title, though. Yeah. Okay, man. It's been a pleasure. Uh, you know, like I see, send, send links. You know, keep keep, keep me in course. You know, wait, 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 do I have your email? I have your email, right? Of course you do. I All guess right. you do. I'll just get up. If I got your email, I'll send you a link when we hang up. You know, in fact, I might. Even, yeah, 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 yeah. Please do. It's look. It's Anthony J. Sloan at, at Gmail. All right. 
you know, my, just it's my name, Mill Initial dot Sloan at Gmail. Anthony J dot Sloan at Gmail. All right. All right. All right, man. I'll check you. All right, I'll check you soon. All right. Thanks. Later.